Hi everybody, here's uh, yet another attempt <laughs> with a different camera setup. Okay, so um, I've been collecting bits of cardboard and tags and things like that and keeping them in a box. But what I want to make is a couple of bookmarky things, I think. there. Am I in shot? Yes I am. Okay so I had these four bookmarks and I wanted to, one of my printables is of a whole heap of um, alcohol ink pictures that I made, backgrounds, and I've printed them out onto A4, uh, just normal copy paper. And I think they'd be really great to use for collaging, different colours, whatever, whatever takes your fancy. So I'm not sure, but I think I'd like to make some orangey ones today. So I'm just getting a couple of the, that's a very orange, and a bit more of the yellow and the orange colours in here. And... Let me get the ruler, my glue stick, and let's just get, let's just do two at a time maybe. everyone's doing well. It's been uh, quite a week or two, hasn't it? What is happening to the world? Well, actually, well, I don't know about any of There's some bad stuff happening, but I kind of also, I wonder if it's actually not such a bad thing in some ways. It's good for us to have a little bit more consciousness about what we're doing to the planet. And actual fact, this morning I was thinking how, um, for those people who are over 50, we grew up without the internet. So um, for us, oh, that didn't work, did it? For us, it's kind of a little bit like, oh, it's not, not too unusual to stay home, read more, listen to more music, do more art, because it's, what we all did when we were growing up. Didn't think anything of it back then. Walks in parks. Yeah, don't even know if you're allowed to do that at the moment. Anyway, I'm actually, I'm quite happy. Quite happy at home. That's where I usually am, doing my art. Where's my bone folder? Oh, there it is. Okay. Maybe I Cover that little bit up. Just give it a bit of a trim. So my friend was just ringing me and uh, he's a personal trainer and he just went to go to work to fully expect to still keep doing his personal training and in Australia now they've just notified that gyms have to close but they can still do their one-on-one. -on -one. So he's still able to have his one-on-one -on -one clients 
and uh, but they have to go to a park. So he was just working out he's going to have to organise a little trolley to take. Whatever he needs to take, I don't know. Sandbags, I don't know. <laughs> what do they take? I'm not a gym junkie. <laughs> Uh, anyway, that's changed for him, for sure. This side. I actually thought that was a good idea. I thought maybe if he's down the park training someone, he might pick up extra clients, perhaps. Could be a good thing. This is my one of the inserts I've taken out and I've taken all the pages out to use the cover to make a journal and um, I just had a little bit of a look through to see if there were any little phrases or words or sentences or even paragraphs that I really liked to put into um, well just to use in backgrounds. Um, low battery and cat at door. I will resume in a minute. And I'm back. Okay. The cat's outside. The phone is now plugged in and charging. Oh my goodness. <laughs> oh dear. It's the way it goes. Alright. <laughs> Let's finish these. How's everyone's toilet paper going? Well, that's probably that may be a, an Australian issue, not a not around the world issue. Oh, oh dear! <laughs> I was down to my last two rolls, and I went to the supermarket, and I haven't had any trouble. I've been getting all the food I need, and uh, there's always been enough for me. I've got a few supplies, so that's good. But I was down to my last two rolls of toilet paper. And I thought, well, you know what? It might feel like the end of the world, but it's not. And um, we'll uh, always have tissues and things, you know, well, actually. When you're an artist, you always have a few rolls of different things. Baby wipes. What a crass conversation. Anyway, uh, I was walking, I went to the cat aisle and I went around the corner where the toilet paper aisle usually is, which has obviously been totally empty for quite a while now. And there was a young man standing there with a pallet of toilet paper and he picked up one, he held it out, handed it to me and he said would you like some toilet paper and I said well yes I'm down to my last two rolls and he handed it to me with a flourish and I thought you know I actually felt like I was royalty I felt like I was the queen it was very very nice to have that happy smiling man doing that well, man don't they seem like they're very young when they're early 20s. Anyway, young man, smiling away, it was lovely. 
think he was enjoying doing a good deed for people. <laughs> good on him. <laughs> so you've got to laugh, don't you? what we can put on the back. I kind of didn't think ahead about that. I might get, I think I've got some tea dyed writing lined paper I'll just get out from my tub. There might be something else in here. Let's have a look. This is my tub of brown things, brown paper. Ooh. Oh, it's not exciting when you find something that you can use. Okay, I might use these. Or, oh, what about these? This was brilliant. This was the wrapping paper on um, a bunch of flowers someone bought me for my birthday. I look at it. It has like little pictures and it has uh, it had recipes, it had all sorts of things, little stories. Well, I've also got this. Um, that's very, very thin. It's like delicatessen paper, but it's been printed for people to wrap sandwiches in or whatever. Got a pile of that. That might be a bit thin though, because you might yeah, you'll see that through. Let's do some of this for fun. It's all about fun, always, isn't it? So, uh, let's see. Can I just do it? Yeah, I will. It's going to do a block, a block of them, I think. Just. Not rather than collage, um, just blocking. The... What I mean by that is just covering the whole area with one bit of paper. Then I might collage over the top of that. What do you think? I'm doing this sort of like round the long way somehow. It's different, isn't it, when you actually when you're doing it um, on your own, you don't think too much about it. But as soon as someone's watching, you think, oh, that probably could have been done easier. Just like you think when you're watching someone else, I bet. <laughs> Let's do one and see what we think about it. Bit on there. Bit on here. Like that. A little burn folder. There you are. Steve's Haughty Maintenance. Steve has a passion for gardens and a love of the growing power of chicken, chicken poo. <laughs> How's that? Um, <laughs> okay. Well, that's covering that up above, isn't it? We can still put things over the top of that. Let's do the rest of these. Speaking about chicken poo, which we weren't, but now we are, um, my, my sister and her husband and their two children have a relatively uh, big property and they have uh, quite a, they've got I think five chickens and she was out there the other day planting, planting uh, more vegetables because they uh, 
have to watch out for their health for different reasons. And it's really, I was thinking it's really lovely. I won't be able to go out for a while, but it's really lovely to go out and just to see the chooks wandering in amongst all of the vegetables and scratching the dirt up and giving their wonderful fertilisation. Okay, I think that I might collage over those. I'll finish the next two, these two. See if I can get a butterfly in. Maybe if I... Take a bit off, that will fix that butterfly in on the back of one of these. Ah, yes. It's magic. Yes, yeah, so anyway... Uh, she spent the day out planting out lots and getting the, making sure that the veggies were all up to scratch. And then my eldest, my eldest daughter, she works at Bunnings, which for anyone who's not in Australia, that is a sort of a hardware shop, but it does have a um, vegetable and plant section that's got a nursery. And she said that everyone had gone mad here buying up all the, um, the vegetable seedlings. So all the, all the vegetable seedlings are gone and now they've started working on buying up the seeds. And it's, um, oh, isn't it wonderful? People are getting out and doing some gardening. <laughs> but it's also a bit crazy because... Um, well, they're probably, if they're people that don't know much about gardening, they're probably buying, buying things without actually knowing how to plant them or anything like that. Oh, good on them. Hopefully they learn. Hopefully it's a good thing for them and they learn how to do it. Could be a good thing. Whole new load of skills people are using. Learning, using. <clears throat> but she did also say that because sometimes Bunnings has toilet paper in bulk that people are being a bit uh, crazy about people are getting a bit abusive to the staff that work there because they uh, don't have what they are wanting they're demanding that they have their toilet paper that they want and stuff about anyone else but when I pop out to go I try and I don't buy in bulk I just really I do have a lot of things in the cupboard that just have been there for a while but I, I generally don't um, I just generally because it's just me I just go and get a couple of lemons a bit of fish or something some carrots whatever it is I want I just go in small you know just a small shop I don't go and overdo it get what I need um, but every time I go out I, 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 I don't know about you but I just kind of think I just expect it to be like um, tumbleweeds in the street <laughs> you know zombie apocalypse hitting right now and I keep waiting for the zombies to jump out from around the corner it's a weird feeling but there's always still people out and about Still people doing what they need to do. Still buying what they need to buy. Except maybe not always toilet paper. And they're getting on with it, you know. So it's not, it's not quite the zombie apocalypse out there yet. 
just made a bit of uh, Simon Pegg and Nick, uh, what's his name, to jump out for some comic relief. That'd be good, wouldn't it? They could just turn up at my door, come in and give me a couple of laughs. That would be awesome. I think what I could have done probably with these bookmarks was either gessoed them or maybe I should have sanded them because that possibly would have taken a bit of the gloss off so the glue stuck a bit better. Or I could have used the fabric glue, which is a real amazing quick fix. But it seems to me like all these corners are coming up, not sticking as well as they could. What I love about these alcohol ink pictures, oh, I love the fact that I can just keep printing them out. Isn't that great about printables? You can just keep printing them out. And I think I, I think there's 17 in my digi kits, so there's quite a few different color, color, colors, designs. There's even a couple of bonus ones on. Um, I did them on a, a glossy photography paper, so they're actually a little bit more. Um, just a different look, different texture. So they, these can be, um, I don't know, where's that? There it is. There it is. These could be um, bookmarks. They could be little cards into a pocket. Tags. Oh, not, that's probably odd. I use them for. I really, very rarely use a book bookmark now is it so I, I don't know how about you do you use bookmarks I mean I think nowadays I use my Kindle most people probably do it's nice to pick up I mean I think we're lucky when we're crafting because we're working with paper all the time and I really quite enjoy that but I I like um, <laughs> giving away secrets I like um, my Kindle because I can actually enlarge the type without having to wear those damn glasses which are annoying I don't like them at all don't want them don't want to wear them they can just go away all right so there's a bit of a writing spot on that one bit of a writing spot for this one oh my goodness I think this is actually a really I've found um well so I've been going through my garage doesn't matter if that rips a bit I've been going through my garage because I had when I moved house um, nearly five years ago um, I went from a big big house and a family home one child had moved out and the other one was still at home and it was just me and her and we did not need a big big house so we moved into a small townhouse but my art stuff has all been in the in the um, garage in boxes and tubs so about once a week I get out a box or a tub and I go oh, I wonder what's in here <laughs> what can I discover what might be fun here um, no, not that. Um, oh, oh, look what I just found. Another bit of writing. No, not, I like that butterfly there. I think that butterfly is going to probably stay there. Yes, yeah, so I keep discovering new things to play with out of the garage and how good is that? That's really fabulous. I just, bought, I just bought up a tub just before. In fact, actually, when I finish these, I might go through it with you and see what you think. Okay, so what about this? Oh, here's a little bit. Oh, look, isn't that perfect? Oh, how lucky. How lucky am I? <laughs> there. Okay. Maybe I'll just trim. 
of that little bit. This was a quick and easy little exercise. I'm going to ink the edges because they're what colour? Oh well, we've got orange. Um, I actually I love my stays on, but I just I realised the other day I've got a lot more of the um, distress inks, but I've only got these three colours of the stays on. So I think the blue. And what did I do with these? Have I got a blue one? That's the purple. Oh, that's the uh, brown. But here's a I've ordered some more because these are actually quite good and I just interchange them at the moment while I'm waiting for my a couple more to arrive in the mail. The um, mail's been a bit slow with some things, but I, I've actually found at the moment that some of my orders have come through really, really quickly and I've been surprised about that. I mean, I've been happy about that. But they're more like uh, healthy things, like um, oh, um, because the townhouse is upstairs and downstairs, and my office is up here, my client and client room. Um, actually, that's on hiatus at the moment because I don't want anyone on my massage table um, who's sweating. Um, as I. My immunity is not brilliant because I had cancer last year, so I'm a bit more careful about things. Um, where was I going with that? Oh, okay. So yeah, <laughs> I ordered a, a. I've got a water filter on my fridge, but I ordered a filter jug, so I've uh, got some a jug of water up here with the filtered. Oh, that's really that's annoying me. That little bit. Yeah. Right. So, so those things came on order incredibly quick. They came really quick, and uh, oops. I think, I think Christina, what are you doing? Go take the lid off before you do that. Anyway, they came really quickly, but I've had some of these ordered for ages, but they're probably coming from China, so there's probably a bit more difficulty with things from China at the moment. I'm sure it's getting better. They say there's no more cases over there and that they've uh, opened up industry over there. Within, what, two or three months, they've got their industry up and happening, so who knows, maybe that'll be how it'll be here. We were lucky. One thing about being a bit of an island in Australia, kind of a bit away from it all for a time. But now we're basically we're in a six month lockdown. All the schools are being closed. And my friend, I said to him, he's a postman, just a young guy, got friends of all ages. He said that he's not really having any problems, just work as normal. And I said to him, thank you because you're doing such a lovely service to people who can't get to work and need deliveries, etc. And he surprisingly said to me, oh, you're the only person that said that. And I was a bit surprised. I thought we were all starting to thank people that were doing things that are helping us in society. That's one done. <laughs> Although, I don't know about you, but I often come back and, <laughs> oh, I go away for a bit and I find something and then I go, oh, I'll... Ah, I can add that to that. <laughs> so I think this is too simple. Too simple, can't do, can't be finished that quickly. It needs 
more. More cowbell. Needs more cowbell. More cowbell. this one. I think I'd just like to I might like to just stick that down in a journal as it is. In my journal I could just do a little right over the other side of the room of course. Um there, well that can be it. Or you could put it in a little tuck spot, get it out, get get a surprise, a beautiful butterfly and a little spot to write on. Oh, you know what? I can't help myself. I see, I just have to add another thing. Okay. I'll empty that. Oh, oh it's stuck. Why isn't it coming out? Oh no. That was a good idea. And cut it. What's going on? Try again. Oh, maybe it's getting stuck. It is, it's getting stuck. How rude. Oh dear. Okay, maybe that wasn't the best idea. Most of the time it works. Maybe it was a bit too thick. Maybe I just do it by hand. And then it's all wonky and I don't know if I can deal with it being all wonky. No, I can't. No. of perfection there now that's oh dear should have left it alone should have said it was finished and ready <laughs> usually <laughs> it's like it's interesting there's a whole heap of different things that happen when the camera's on it's like why does it, it shouldn't change anything. It shouldn't be any different at all, should it? Lucky I didn't just get rid of my butterfly. Oh, I tell you, it's like Griswold family Christmas round here sometimes. Is that what it was called? Griswold's? You know, with Chevy Chase, that one. <laughs> ah. Right, now one's shorter than the others, but you never know what size you need. And that's them done. And what was I going to do? Oh, I was going to oh, go through that little tub. 